It's time now for Dog of the Week. That's right, yes, he puts the... He, he puts the wag into the wag of the Christie trial. That's right. And I suppose you would not have to be barking mad to give this dog at home. That's right, it's time for the wonderful Kobe. So Kobe is two and a half years old. He was living in Scotland, but his owner, who was a trustee for Paw Prince to Freedom, sadly passed away. I must warn you, actually, this story's a little bit of a tearjerker, so uh, be warned, yeah. And so he's now at the Charities Rescue Centre in Nantwich, which is near my neck of the woods. Actually, Cheshire Way is near yours yeah, as well. My, my, my sister lives in that neck of there the woods. Nice part of the world, Nantwich. Anyway, there you go. As Kobe will no doubt find out. But anyway, uh, he has a couple of friends at the kennels, which is lovely, isn't it, that he loves to play with, and so he could potentially live with other dogs. Good stuff, yes, because every single week we come on and it's... I can understand why, but basically every other dog is always like, it's got to be on their own. OK, fine, but this dog can live with other dogs, so it's already 1-0 Kobe, right? Nina Hasbury is a charity trustee at Poor Prince 2 Freedom and joins me now. Nina, thank you so, so much for joining us. Right, sell Kobe to the nation. <laughs> uh, well, apart from his really sad story, bless him, um, he's, he's just lovely. He's been at the kennels now for... Um, around about four weeks. Um, so he has been pretty nervous to start with. Obviously, it's it was a bit of a shock for him just to be kind of taken out of his home and, and his owner's no longer there. Um, but he's doing really, really well. He's um, he's a really lovely boy. He's he's really settling. Um, he loves the girls. He he's, he's really sort of getting on with the other dogs. He, he loves to go out in the paddocks and play with his toys. Um, so, yeah, I think he would be a great addition to any home. Just out of interest, when you say he loves the girls, um, has he been <laughs> neutered or does that not matter? <laughs> no, he has been neutered, yeah. Ah. So, oh, yeah. well, good. to be fair, that's a cracking effort. He still loves the girls, you know, he's got something about him. I'm a fan of Kobe already. <laughs> um, but uh, so Kobe's, Kobe's good on a walk, is he? Yeah, he walks really well on the lead. Um, he's really calm. He's not, he's not too reactive. Um, he he he'll say hello to the other dogs. He goes out on group walks with the other dogs as well, and he's um, he's all good. And just, um, look, I know that you, you, you kind of alluded to it earlier. Would you mind telling us a bit about Kobe's backstory, please? So, um, Kobe um, came, he's been over in the UK about two years. He's over from Romania. Um, he was originally with an adopter, um, but sadly that didn't work out. And then so he went to um, our lovely Carol Um he was with Carol for just over a year. Um, so, and then sadly, um, she passed away quite suddenly. So he was kind of, he, he really was just wrenched out of his home and, and everything turned upside down for him. Um, so, so to be doing as well as he is doing is, is really good. Absolutely. And um, do you think you'd probably be all right around kids? Um, we, we said, maybe older children so maybe 12 plus just calmer mm. um he's still quite nervous so you know smaller yeah. children can can be a bit a bit too much for for some of our dogs sometimes. well they're too so, much yeah. for me frankly yeah. actually which why i don't have any as far as i know anyway uh, but nina if people want to get in touch with you if people are, are shouting at their tv screens now they're they're shouting at their radios they're watching youtube and they're going goodness gracious me how do i get my hands on kobe how do they do it so they can go onto our website, which is www.pawprincetofreedom.co.uk. Um, we also have our Facebook page, which is Poor Prince to Freedom. Uh, the Rescue Centre also does have its own Facebook page, which is Poor Prince to Freedom, our safe haven. Um, and then obviously we have we have Twitter and we have Instagram as well. So you can apply through any of those outlets. Well, look, can I just say thank you very, very much, Nina, and thank you for coming on at what is pretty late doors, really, on your Friday night. We appreciate it. You obviously really, really care about Kobe and, indeed, all the animals that, that you look after. And fingers crossed, someone watching this right now can get in touch with you and, and hopefully Kobe gets that wonderful forever home that he deserves, undoubtedly. Nina Hasbury there, of course, charity trustee at Paul Prince, Paul Prince, easy for me to say, to Freedom, uh, who was trying to rehome Kobe.